Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. Today's going to be a great show. We're going to talk about one of the premier events for the beef industry supporting children in the United States. It's the Iowa Governor's Charity Beef Show. It's going to be awesome. We have Matt Deppy, Tanner Lawton from the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, so stay tuned. These days, no one can afford to take the risk of being without financial protection against high health care costs, not even for a few days. Kansas Farm Bureau health plans offer short-term health care coverage to fill in those temporary gaps. Short-term health plans can provide you with medical coverage when you are between health plans, helping lower your potential financial risk. Learn more at kfbhealthplans.com or contact a Farm Bureau financial services agent near you. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. We have special guests here today. We have Matt Deppy, who is the CEO of the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, and we have Tanner Lawton, who is the Northwest Iowa Membership uh, Coordinator yep. here for the Iowa Cattlemen's Association and uh, I'm back home in Iowa, you can see at Iowa State, and so uh, to introduce you to my colleagues that I've known for years sure. and work together on projects, um, it's just great to be here, and thanks for being on the show. Well, we really appreciate the opportunity, too. Yeah. So, um, Matt, just kind of lead us in on the Iowa Cattlemen's Association. I mean, it's obviously one of the leaders in the nation. Um, talk a little bit about what, what, what you all have going on. Yeah, the Iowa Cattlemen's Association um, was actually put together in 1973, so several decades uh, old, so to speak, from a legacy standpoint, but always has had that legacy uh, that connects to uh, advocating for the cattlemen in our state, and uh, whether that's a local, a state, or a national level uh, type of thing. And so we've got a large membership uh, within the, the Iowa Cattlemen's Association of 8,500 8, plus. Uh, and that, that varies from year to year type of thing, but uh, definitely represents the diversity of Iowa's beef business when you look at the producers, the size, the types and kinds of operations across the state. Yeah, it's been, it's been great to get to know people and, and really get back to the, the family farm. Uh, you know, we know they're incorporated, right? Because, you know, even the, the mom and pop sure. soda shop is, is incorporated. But, but uh, this really is about agriculture and, and Iowa, and we're just tickled to death. So we're going to have an event come up uh, in here in a few weeks. Uh, the, tell me a little bit, Tanner, about the, the Governor's Steer Show. Very, very exciting event. Uh, the Governor's Charity Steer Show was started in 1983 by the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, the Iowa Beef Industry Council, and Governor Terry Brandstad at the time. And one of those things that was put together uh, just to, to kind of show what cattlemen are all about. You know, we kind of have the cattlemen care mantra around here and talk about that quite frequently. But it was a way to get the Ronald McDonald Houses of Iowa involved and help raise funds for them. Um, 
some of you maybe haven't been to Ronald McDonald House of Iowa. Um, I've had to go there personally with uh, some issues, health issues with my son. Um, it is a place where the minute you walk in, you know, all of your worries are put put aside. You know, they come at you go in, they give you a place to, to eat, sleep, eat, they provide things for you guys to do, and it's just a very wholesome kind of place and, and something that, you know, if the cattlemen can get behind and help them, uh, we can get a lot, of, a lot of other people involved too. You bet. Matt, you've been involved with these uh, yeah. exciting times, huh? Oh, the, the Governor's Charity Steer Show is something that I think the whole industry looks forward to each and every year. It's a huge um, public event for the, the state of Iowa and the, the beef industry in our state. Um, and certainly as, as we uh, look forward to that, we, we got that good cause, the Ronald McDonald House, and um, uh, just a great event for the beef industry. Great event helping Iowa families and folks in need. And, and like Tanner said, showing that cattleman cattlemen care about their communities, not just about their, their operation, but their communities and everything around them. You bet. Well, let's take a break. Folks, when we come back, we'll have more here at the Iowa Cattlemen's Association here with Matt Deppy and Tanner Lawton. You're watching Doc Talk. We'll be right back. Watch Ag AM in Kansas online at agamincansas.com. Kansas Corn reminds you that E15 fuel is the right choice for every kind of driver. For the car enthusiast, E15 has higher octane. For the thrifty driver, E15 is priced lower than regular unleaded. For the nature lover, E15 provides cleaner air. For the shopper who buys local, E15 has more ethanol from our Kansas corn farms. Choose E15 for a higher octane, lower price, cleaner American fuel. Message from the Kansas Corn Commission. Learn more at kscorn.com. Highways 40, 83, and I-70 come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made. Roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to western Kansas. At Farm Credit, we partner with America's farmers who work hard each and every day to grow the food that we all enjoy. It's not an easy task, but it's an important one. Farm Credit is proud to work with farmers and ranchers, lending support in rural America. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at kfrm.com or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here at Iowa State University, and today we're out at the Iowa Cattlemen's Association with the CEO, Matt Deppy, and the Northwest Iowa uh, Membership Coordinator, Tanner Lawton. And we're talking about the a great event that's coming up, but kind of walk me through what, what happens at the Governor's uh, Charity Steer Show. So, you know, in, in most years, we, we get to go to the Iowa State Fairgrounds. We're a part of the big Iowa State Fair. With that postponement this year, it's going to look a little bit different. But uh, in normal years, we uh, bring the calves in. People can walk through them, see them throughout the, the uh, week. And then on that Saturday, uh, we put together a pretty nice show. Um, we get uh, 25 sponsors uh, that round up steers from all over the state of Iowa. Uh, which is kind of cool because you get them from from every different area and and brings everybody together for a good cause and and a way for them to kind of meet each other and do different things but it's a show that we get those steers in the in the show ring uh, we do pick a live grand champion uh, governor's charity steer show steer which is is really fun and, and i think it holds a, a pretty big value uh, oh, yeah. amongst all of these kids that you know it's it may not be the Iowa State <clears throat> Fair champion, but it's kind of that next level thing that people are calling and asking us to be a part of. And once we get in the ring, like I said, we have a live champion. 
And I think probably the most exciting part is the people's choice uh, champion. And and Matt, you've been involved longer than yeah. I have. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so the people's choice, uh, when we're in the pavilion there at the state fairgrounds, um, the, the Pioneer Pavilion, it's, it's large, but it's small at the same time. And so uh, just the environment of... Um, everyone's team having the same t-shirt on and that kind of stuff. And we pull the steers on the side and we go around. And a lot of times Ronald McDonald is there doing his, his uh, <laughs> metering and that kind of thing. He's kind of the picker, so to speak. Oh. Um, but we go down the line and, and uh, folks cheer for the one that they want to be people's choice. Um, but yeah, it, it's really interesting, right? It, it, so I, as I was kind of thinking about this and thinking about the steer show coming up, uh, we were going through some old archived photos in the celebrity part, so it's a celebrity show, um, and I, and I would tell you probably the the one of the more famous celebrities. I don't know you're, if you're an Iowa State fan, you know who Fred Hoiberg is, oh, the yeah, mayor. The mayor. Um, so he was in the show. Uh, obviously, congressional delegates and senate senate uh, delegates. Um, anyone. We've even had um, folks from from other countries in the show that that had a strong relationship with the beef industry in Iowa. Yeah, it's it's just it's awesome. So if you if you have a chance uh, to come and be a part of of this, it's something special in Iowa that highlights the beef industry. But it's for the kids and it's for the families and it's mm -hmm. for it's it's about building that 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 becoming neighbors uh, project. So so they they uh, twenty five teams then or. We kind of call them teams, you know, a, a sponsor it, it finds a steer and then that family kind of teams up with them and, and they raise funds on the way to the state fair for the Governor's Charity Steer Show. And, and we do end the, end the day after the champions are picked, we do end with a live auction and that's where the steers are sold. Um, we have, get multiple buyers from all around the state of Iowa and, you know, even large corporate uh, corporations too and it's nice to to see the people there and the excitement that is built with it and you know i want my steer to sell for the most because i want to be you know i want to be not only the steer champion but the the team that raised the large amount of money right. for ronald mcdonald houses yeah well it's just a fantastic event fantastic people it's something very special that that really like no other for the beef industry so if you have a chance, get to Ames, Iowa. We're going to talk to you more about what's going to happen with this uh, tremendous event here after these messages. Hey, welcome to Cattle First, sponsored by Beringer Engelheim Vet Medica. There are two reasons why animals get sick. Overwhelming dose of a pathogen or a suppressed immune system. Number one cause of a suppressed immune system is stress. We need to make sure that we decrease the stress of cattle. Low stress cattle handling, acclimating these cattle when they come to your facility, making sure that cattle can trust you. So building trust with cattle, just like you would with a dog or a horse on your property is vitally important because animals that don't trust you won't show you clinical signs. Once you gain those cattle's trust, all of a sudden one of them says, hey, I'm not feeling good. Take me to the hospital and treat me. Otherwise, they think you're a predator and they mask their, their, their clinical signs and you don't catch them. This has been Cattle First by Beringer Engelheim Vet Medica. Okay, looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. Here at the museum, you're going to find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. We've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray Pump Organ Collection. We're a little bit place with a great big story and we'd love to have you. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. No one plans to get sick or injured, but when life happens, it's important you and your family are protected. 
Kansas Farm Bureau health plans are there to provide continued health care coverage to meet your needs. Choose from a broad range of individual and family plans. And if you're over 65, we have options for you, too. Learn more at kfbhealthplans.com or contact a Farm Bureau Financial Services agent near you. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here at Iowa State University, and today we're at the Iowa Cattlemen's Association with Tanner Lawton, who is the Northwest Iowa Membership uh, Coordinator, and with Matt Deppie, who is the CEO of the Iowa Cattlemen's Association. And we're talking about an event, okay? The Governor's Charity Steer Show, and it is an Iowa tradition for the beef industry, providing uh, support for the Ronald McDonald House and for for families. So, can you talk to me a little bit about the Ronald McDonald House and and what exactly? I, I think maybe for for some people, you know, we we only think of the Golden Arches and and a Big Mac, but uh, let's let's talk a little bit about what that does for families. We do love the Golden Arches and the Big Macs too, but they <laughs> this is a. a kind of a place where people can go um, in Des Moines, Sioux City, and Iowa City. Uh, if their son or daughter or any family members in the hospital for an extended period of time, um, they can actually be able to utilize um, rooms. They can utilize, I believe, laundry, have a place to eat. And in my experience having to go there uh, with my son, uh, the volunteers that our work at these places are they're very magical and special people and the food that's provided there thank you to all the volunteers that do that because it's amazing food and it's just a nice place to go to to get away from the the craziness and the hecticness and in, in the hospital situation yep and and matt this has been going on for for years we've been yep. supporting this how many, how many how many years has the since 1983 83 uh, 83 was the first first year and it was started by now now he's the ambassador to China Terry Brandstad that's right, that's right, that's um, right. but uh, he was governor Terry Brandstad uh, the industry got together with, with um, the, the governor and and really uh, the you know the the cause the the charity is is really important but um, you know from a from a beef industry every year it gives us an opportunity to you know tighten up that that separation between the gate and the plate type of thing and, and show that you know we're, we're all the same people and we're uh, these folks are providing food they're providing a lot of care for a, a great charity but they do that at home too yeah, yeah well just mentioning Terry Brandstad in 83 I that was the second governor of my life um, yeah. Bob Ray was governor forever uh, yep. as I was yep. growing up but uh, but uh, you know this is this is a remarkable remarkable event and you've raised over four or three million dollars 3.8 million is is the total right now that just we've with this with this charity steer show just with the charity steer show <laughs> over 37 <laughs> years uh, this is the 38th year and we, we know it's going to look different and be different but uh, we we talked with the ronald mcdonald house execs and they said you know we've got to do this some way or another because it's such a good event brings such uh, notoriety to the state of iowa yeah, and and we're uh, happy uh, at Iowa State and the Department of Animal Science to partner with you on it this year and uh, provide the venue. But uh, we won't let the cat out of the bag just yet. We're going to make you watch these commercials. And when you come back, you're going to find out when, where, how you can participate. Even if you're not going to be able to come to Iowa and you want to support the beef industry and you want to support the Ronald McDonald House, you can do it. More after these messages. Sure Crop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. Based out of Seneca, Kansas, 
We work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need, and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but yeah, we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and work with you. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. I'm Bob Swartz, and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council. Improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Matt Deppy, the CEO of the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, and Tanner Lawton, who is the Northwest Iowa uh, Membership Recruit Recruiting Coordinator. Membership Coordinator. I'll get it. Either One way, these days, it'll work. He's got a job, all right, <laughs> and he does it well. And we're proud of him, and we're proud of Matt, and we're proud of the Iowa Cattlemen's Association uh, being leaders in society and this is another example so tell us about the event how can people get there how can they where where's it going to be so it's a little different like we said earlier from what normal is um, with iowa state fair doing their postponement um, we knew we had to do this show we knew we need to have provide some positive positivity to people uh, throughout this year with everything that's been going on and and we uh, contacted you i believe <laughs> and said hey uh, does Iowa State want to get involved? Does the Hanson Center uh, want to be partners in this deal? And It took and, me a long time to get back to you, didn't it? Uh, well, I think you about <laughs> jumped through the phone, to be honest with you, when I talked to you. So uh, we're excited. You know, it's it's still in central Iowa, so easier for uh, people to get to from all, all sides of the state. And, you know, it's going to look different, like I said, but we're going to we're gonna do this thing right and do it justice and, and still raise the funds that we need to for the Ronald McDonald Houses. Okay, and the date, the time, the... August 15th will be the date of the show. Um, it will be in the afternoon. Uh, still working out timeline and all of that. Um, that will come out probably in a press release here in the next couple of weeks, uh, just so everybody knows. But one thing that's going to be different this year than the past is we're, um, we're going to probably have a lot more um, activity on, on the web. We're going to have a live webcast. That will probably also be on Facebook Live. Um, we're going to try to get this out and reach more people. Um, even though this year it's it's different, um, we still think this is something that we can add in the future too. And instead of this just being an Iowa thing, why can't we make it a you know a nationwide thing as far as getting people involved? Yeah, and so it's going to be at the Hanson Center here at Iowa State University. It's going to be August fifteenth in the afternoon. You can watch it online. You can come to it live. Um, but let's make this a record year. Let's let's Absolutely. not let COVID or whatever that is get us down. 
Yep. Let's let's get the word out. Let's get people from coast to coast involved with with the Iowa Cattlemen's and and the uh, um, Ronald McDonald House. And you're going to have online donations. You'll have a platform yep. set up. We'll have a platform set up for online donations. Uh, possibly. Uh, some opportunities to participate in the sale for those folks that want to do that, uh, whether they typically do or don't. Um, but I couldn't agree with you more that um, this is an opportunity, and it's an opportunity to showcase not just the beef industry, but also a great charity like the Ronald McDonald House. Yep, and I, I just think that as we look at the beef industry, as we look at, at all that we do to provide food day to day, this is just another example of of, like it says on our license plates, uh, Cattleman Care. That's right. That's right. Thanks for what you two do. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And thanks for watching Doc Talk, folks. Remember, always work with your local veterinarian. And if you want to know more about what we do at Doc Talk, you can find us on the web at www.doctalktv.com. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here with Matt Deppy and Tanner Lawton at the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, and we'll see you down the road. Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Join Ag AM in Kansas, everyone, Monday through Friday mornings on local stations throughout the state of Kansas and every day on your favorite social media. Monday kicks off with Dr. Dan Thompson on Doc Talk as he's joined by leading veterinarians and nutritionists in food animal production. They discuss current production challenges and tips on how to deal and prepare for those challenges. Tuesdays on Farm Factor, it is our friends here at KFRM Radio with interviews from top experts in agriculture. Wednesday, it is a little of Kansas history with Deb Goodrich on Around Kansas. Thursday, Britton Rucker brings us Ag Etc. This day is filled with agriculture research and ag happenings around the Midwest, including our new Young Leaders in Ag segment. We end the week with Authentic Ag, and updates from your local checkoff programs. Make sure to check your local listings or like us on Facebook and Twitter at Ag AM in Kansas and on YouTube at Farming Unlimited TV so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP. That brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun.